a certain point, it's like a parallel universe. It's mm -hmm, like the mm -hmm. gods of Olympus, but even it's their so mountain weird. Olympus, they think, and it's just this different type of sphere, and you're surrounded by people mm -hmm. who in reinforce your own ego, and I think that... Yeah, but that's a whole collection of egos, eh? so... Yeah. Um, but I think of the new... I also have an ego, but I'm like, I'm yeah. happy in the shadows, you know? But if you look at the newer generation, I think they're more like in tune with the uh, common people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I hope so. Uh, you know, uh, it's a strange uh, environment, mm -hmm. but uh, I still love to work with them. Uh, although it's getting less and less, which is normal. Uh, so, because uh, I well, until last year I did hydras invitations, but now I just do Walters and. and so you shift away from fashion too. Art and books and uh, all the other graphic stuff because you know, I, I never consider myself as a fashion, uh, which is a uh, no, fashion person. I don't know. Mm. Uh, do I have to? Even though I, I worked 30 years in the, in the business. Yeah. But my way, without doing too many, uh, too many uh, how do you call it? Uh, to giving uh, compromises, yeah, because that's a C word for me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, uh, mm. but how do you feel about the sort of like the new gen of designers that have come to Belgium and then maybe gone out, like people like Demna Versalia, for example, or like Glenn no, Martin? It's amazing what he's doing in the beginning. I was a bit like, mm, let's see uh, yeah. what, what happens. But the last couple of seasons were like, wow, you know, on track. Yeah. So, um, no, no, when he shakes it up, the whole system, yeah, it's really well. Uh, but uh, also, I like uh, Minju Kim. Yeah. I love what she does. The, the thing about Minju Kim, which is so funny, is I just thought she was a Korean designer from Korea. And, and then Minju coming Kim. here, everyone's like, Minju Kim, did you see that person that won Next in Fashion on Netflix? And actually, she went to the Academy yeah, yeah, she of did. Fine Arts, yeah. yeah. She was totally bizarre, and also, uh, <laughs> it's very difficult for them to communicate. But uh, no, I always liked what she did. But she's a really good designer, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very I good designer. What, what makes the real Academy so special that people keep coming here? Uh, I don't know. Well, good question. Hmm. It's a very tough school, eh? really. Uh, that's why I didn't make it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's be frank. No, and that was even in the uh, in the eighties. Oh my god, uh, end of the eighties. Uh, no, so I'm ha really happy. I'm doing what I do and not not making clothes or designing clothes. I would have been sucked basically. <laughs> so I found really what I wanted to do. Thank God. Uh, so, no, I think, that anyway, the education you get, really, it's uh, sublime, I think. Uh, I do think now they have to uh, open it up a little, because they've been stuck to the same system. Uh, so, in the first year, you have this, the second year, you have this, but the world is really changing really fast. I'm like, mm, guys, also the teachers are getting uh, a bit older. Uh, even Walter like has to yeah, retire because of he has to retire age. Yeah. Yeah. In yeah. One year. Or yeah. So. Because uh, of age. Because he said that once he turns sixty-five here. Yeah. Yeah. That, right. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's I'll crazy. In 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 the no, UK, sure it doesn't design, it doesn't yeah. matter if you could be a hundred if you're still healthy. Yeah. You know. Belgium is a weird country. <laughs> <laughs> We invented surrealism, so every day, uh, and, uh, <laughs> look at that street. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's unbelievable. With, and I do like it, but sometimes it's so frustrating. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> we also have three governments or four. Uh, it, it, wow. The, a country the size of a praline. Yeah, I learned that the Flemish section has... Yeah, we have Brussels, and then you have yeah, Flemish, and then you have... Then... Uh, Bologna yeah. and then yeah. even the German part. Yeah, also the German speaking part. Oh my god. <laughs> complicated country. Yeah, it's totally schizophrenic. <laughs> uh, so, and sometimes creatively it's, it can be nice, but uh, paper wise it's, it's, ugh, it's horrible. They make it so complicated. It's, it's so. too complex to riot against because if we were protesting, we wouldn't know no, what we were protesting. You lose anyway. <laughs> no, no, you lose anyway. So, yeah, horrible. No, no, but. 
academy uh, remains a very good school. But uh, I do think, because I noticed it the last time I was there, I was like, oh my God, you need an injection of new blood because uh, all the people that were there uh, loved them to bits. But I'm like, you're getting older uh, and you're older than me, so you're really getting older. <laughs> so, uh, uh, but of course, it's not so well paid, eh? The yeah. academy, I think, all yeah. the peanuts. Uh, it's just because he's doing it for 30 years that yeah. he get a decent wage, I guess. So, uh, so how do you attract people from abroad when you don't have a budget? Yeah. Central St. Martins will be something different now. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's a bit of the eternal problem in Belgium. The finances, oh my God. No, and they're always in trouble. The whole Royal Academy, always in trouble. Wow. Like, wow. And why does nobody put money in it? Because it's Especially considering a lot of like people that have graduated are huge now. Because surely, I, I know if like I went to a school and then due to like what I learned at a school, I became really successful. Mm -hmm. If I saw the schools in trouble, I'd try to help it. That's not a very Belgian thing. <laughs> 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 so. Uh... Yeah, we're very, you know, selfish, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so how does your relationship with um, Walter come about? Because it seems like you've had a very, very, very long-standing yeah, yeah, relationship so and collaboration. Years, so, uh, no, yeah. I came there, uh, idiot, basically. Uh, you know, I was very uh, eager and uh, obviously I had the talent. But, uh, and then Anne said, like, oh, I can't do it anymore. Can you do uh, yeah. the Walter stuff for me? Because she was then working for Dries uh, Van Norton as well. Uh, and he was like, booming. Yeah. Uh, one of the first, together with Anne, but Anne did her own stuff, together with her husband, I guess. So, uh, and I was glad to uh, help. Uh, also, I, I, I knew, already knew some people working at Walter's uh, studio. So, uh, but he didn't really have a graphic designer. Ah, oh, okay. And then you have this uh, Fashion is Dead newspaper. Yeah. Um, and then I had to finish it because they started it and then I had to finish it. And my first thing I had to do was uh, this large uh, publicity page for a perf fake perfume uh, called Sado, <laughs> named after his dog. And I, was just, I can't remember what was on it even. But then Walter still does it. He, oh, remember faxes, I remember coming home and then my whole office was full of paper from Walter. <laughs> like, you finished my paper, <laughs> bust. <laughs> you know, I'm like, cutting it and then okay, let's see what we can do. Anyway, uh, but I, I did love faxes, um, not his. But, uh, and then, uh, but he draws everything like, well, he can draw, really yeah. well, which is nice. But I always, that's why he's a good designer. I think what he draws is on the stage. Yeah. Also because he has to think about the budget and he's like, I can do this and this. No, no he knows what he's doing. This is what I'm doing. Uh, and then I make it better. No, no, I mean, <laughs> typographically because he's like, oh, let's do this. So you cannot do this with a W. <laughs> yeah. So your, your page ends there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I had to do some quality control there, but uh, then no, and we just, and then when I graduated, I just started working for him, and then always over the prints and stuff. I don't know how they did before me, even. I know, maybe his interns did, probably. Who uh, are, I actually have them. a good question for you, because I like asking graphic designers this. Who are your favorite graphic designers? Like, who are some, historically, some graphic designers? Oh, I'm old you? school anyway. Yeah, Alexei Brodovich. Yeah, I love oh Alexei Brodovich. Harper's uh, Bazaar. I, I love no, his work as well. You, no, and also the stuff underneath, like the grids. Yeah. You can still use well, And he was use. one of the first people, like, the way Alexei Brodovich uses, like, negative space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, yeah, like, yeah, known no, for I learned basically yeah. everything from him. Yeah. Um, he was already dead, but from his work. <laughs> yeah. <I> <laughs> Because I, I did four, maybe five years of school, but I learned more from uh, looking at this work yeah. than the stuff. Uh, I just needed a diploma for my mother. <laughs> <laughs> like, here, yeah, I can do, I can do it, you know. Uh, but then I, I learned so much from him, so uh, and it still works. I think. Yeah. And there's such an elegance. I'm like, wow, because. 
times change, of course, but still you can use the thing underneath. You, you can, can even you can. The, the double spreads that he used But now, to use. because I think, because the new generation uh, really starts from the computer, the good thing from my work is like I, I grew up analog in a way, yeah. and then I had to learn the digital thing, and but I think analog in a way. I don't know where I'm trying to think. And analog. But and so you think differently. Also, I work with a computer, but there's no not a single program that I know really well because really I do uh, yeah. find it out for myself. Yeah. <laughs> but then you find other solutions. So uh, and the ones who get it really well in school, they're just like Bloop, and it's there. Yeah. But I'm like, you're not watching what you're doing and you're not thinking hard enough. So that makes the difference, and that's why I'm still yeah. asked uh, to, to, to do stuff. Uh, well, that's my theory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Touch wood. Uh, and also, it's like that for me. So, uh, yeah. No, and then Walter, but then uh, I had a deal with Walter, I think, in the beginning, because uh, yeah, then I got some uh, clients of my own. Uh, but then I could do it at his place uh, on his computer and use a printer and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, at a certain moment, it was becoming a bit painful, you know, yeah. you know, because the other work was taking over, also for designers. Yeah. I was like, oh, what am I going to do? Uh, so I decided to start working from home, you know, and then I had to uh, buy a computer and stuff like that. Uh, but we always stayed in touch and, uh, you know, the prince, then he had his own people to do it. Uh, and I only do the, the, the big pro or the book projects or, yeah. the, or it has an exhibition. We did one uh, a couple of years ago in, in uh, what it? Amsterdam, I think, about this outsider artist, Willem van Genk. So, uh, yeah, who was there like, like an outsider artist, like <laughs> eh, 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 with, the, with the thing on the wall, uh, all hands uh, yeah. and stuff. Uh, yeah, then he calls me, of course. Uh, but it's always fun, you know, it's also very inspiring always inspiring well yeah it's a very open guy i think so uh it's a joy to work with uh, also and he trusts me and that's nice because i don't know why but sometimes clients don't trust me i'm like i'm not here to sabotage <laughs> yeah. you know, i'm just here to help you and still no it's i know why it is because they're insecure and they don't know really what they're doing and then they, they expect you to solve it for them yeah that's not how it works uh, I can just add to your stuff. I'm not going to reinvent your stuff. Yeah. Huh? And some people can let go, and some people are so anal about it. They yeah. just, like, yeah, kind of like, it's uh, nothing against friction, but there are yeah. limits, you know. Yeah, like, yeah it's, it's weird. Uh, so the best experience is uh, even your Gianna motto was a dream to work for you. was like, whoop. I can imagine the OGs you like that. I like, could, what? I could actually imagine. They went to heaven, basically. <laughs> but of course, we have to do the, the work as well. Yeah. Not like, this is like, no, he no, just no, seems like, like a very uh, open-minded person. Yeah, yes. Yeah. And also a little bit uh, naughty. Yeah. <laughs> that way, which is always good. No, no. Healthily naughty, not like hashtag me too naughty. But, uh, so, uh, no, no, but if, if a guy like that just gives you wings in a, in a way, you know, and you're still like, oh, no. yeah, do wow. what you can with the stuff I'm, I'm uh, giving you, and then you just jump out of the window and fly, you know, Have you worked with or you any... crash. Yeah. <laughs> Have you worked with any other Japanese designers? Um, no, well, Yoji I did for five years, uh, but also based in Antwerp, but then uh, I had to go to Paris and stuff. I did in a couple of books for him. Uh, no, I did work with uh, Undercover. For the A magazine, I, is that a painful thing? No, no he, he loves I Undercover, know, that's his like, favourite brand. No, but that was then with the, I still have it, wow, what a nice rack I got here. I don't know, this is a guy with Tishi, also nice to work See, with. I got my Andy interview, you're going to get your yeah. Undercover. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think he, just the way he does like um, prints and the way he uh, draws inspiration from Space yeah, Odyssey. Very nice. And yeah. you, you met him. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, same story like Martin, uh, then he did an issue of uh, wow. uh, A Magazine, and wow. uh, they were at my place for four, for four days, but then they arrived, and with a hard disk, you know, and it was broken, oh, no. <laughs> so thank God there was already email, so they started emailing, well, 
Tokyo basically, and then they have to send everything by. I don't what know. Year what, is this? Uh, it's somewhere. <laughs> it's very dark. No, no, not there. Huh. Uh, I know. I think it should be in the beginning. We always had trouble finding good advertising. <laughs> <laughs> not, I don't know how it is. Uh, wow. The age of accessories, 2006. So, uh, wow. so that's, that's 15 years old, huh? Yeah. You wouldn't say. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, no, and then they, 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 they get you, buddy. We work for four days, day and night, uh, but it's so fun. And, and, and also they're very open, uh, which is very important, you know. And then we had uh, this mix of papers way back then. Nobody did it, so... Uh, uh, no, no, fantastic. And then they said, oh, Paul, you have the working mentality of a Japanese person. I was like, <laughs> I hope it's a compliment. Yeah, but <laughs> thank you, I guess. No, no, it is. But no, I, I, I do. Uh, he has a really unique um, view, I think. No, no, I love his stuff. Uh, mm. No, and the best issues were with people like that, when they were open, but still have their own thing. And is then that his daughter? I think so, yeah. yeah. She's now a model for Hermes. Uh, so probably. Oh, so, so. thank you. The next yeah, graphic design. I don't. Know, it really fascinates me because um. <coughs> so I launched my own magazine um last year, and I'm, I'm not a graphic designer at all. I don't know anything yeah, about but graphic maybe design. That's your fortune. Yeah, <laughs> but the just because I one of my friends designed it, and just learning what's possible and what isn't was a real experience for me. I Even hope, down yeah. to um very technical things. So for example, I wanted the front cover to just be black. Mm -hmm. And then, so we made it black, and oh, I sent it to the black. printer. That's the thing. Ah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted it to be a very deep, dark black. Mm -hmm. So I sent it to the printer, and they looked at it, and they said, it looks black on your RGB screen, but if we print this, it's going to be it CMYK, and it's oh, yeah. going to be grey, not black. So then they gave us the settings to then change it. And it's so technical. I didn't realise mm -hmm. all those technicalities yeah, of graphic design. You live and you learn now. Right? Yeah. Beginning, I did some stuff. Oh my god, <laughs> painful! Never, you, you don't learn it in school, you yeah. Know? You I, really I, don't. I never learned printing stuff, I uh, really had to learn it the hard way. And in the beginning, uh, mistakes were made. Whoops, uh, but I'm a fast learner, yeah. so uh, no, no, it's, it's not easy. And stuff keeps changing, you know. Also, now, because uh, everything now has to wriggle on your screen. So now I'm venturing into motion design because you have to go with the times. Uh, but then I can do the design and then somebody has to yeah. put motion into it because I'm not, I can't even change a light bulb, <laughs> <laughs> basically. So, uh, yeah, no, no, but I do like, uh, well, it's interesting. Uh, as long as it's graphic, I'm already happy, you know. Uh, yeah. and then, uh, no, no, but this year is a bit a year of transition, I guess. Uh, we'll see. I don't mind something that stands still, but nowadays it has to wiggle. <laughs> yeah. Are there other, like, as a graphic designer, technical um, things that you have to look for? So, for example, are there certain colours of paper where the text colour has to be certain colours or things like that? Well, if there's a problem, I will surely do it. That's my, yeah. uh, that's my thing. <laughs> like, oh, you can't print on this? Yes, let's print on this. <laughs> you know, I was always uh, a bit fearless. In, yeah. In no, otherwise... It's all the same. Because uh, it's so... Even I'm looking at this um, undercover A magazine issue, for example, and there's, like, different types of paper throughout the magazine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, logistically, is so difficult to do. Uh, Especially when you're reprinting multiple. Yeah, it's... Uh, I don't know how many... A couple of 2,000 or something. No, no, this was uh, because you had uh, glossy paper. You had, like, really matte yeah. paper. You see, this is also black. Yeah. And it's not black paper, I guess. No, no, because you know, it's a nice one. Uh, but I think because in the beginning we try to, because you have to work with your sections, like eight pages and then yeah. another eight pages. Uh, but in the end, we were like, you know what? Uh, <laughs> let's just, in the middle of a picture, for example, here. So this is then uh, non uh, uncoated. Yeah and a bit uh, off-white, and this is then coated, it's yeah. one picture, why not? Yeah. So, uh, no, I like stuff like that. that you yeah, use. because that, that sort of stuff I wouldn't notice 
before I made my own magazine, but now that I have, I look at like, even like down to the paper types, the way things are. And it's what, I think it's what has mm -hmm. made me more interested in like graphic Yeah, design. but of course your sections has to be, the PDF has to yeah. be, uh, has to be the, or the, even the picture has to be in the right, uh, what's it called, filter, I don't yeah. know what. So uh, it is quite technical, but there's people who can do that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the printer did it uh, 15 years ago, because back then, I was still working in Co-op Express. Yeah. <laughs> Remember co -op Express? You know, you never heard I of it. I don't, I don't. No, no, that's the one uh, before, it's in between Illustrator and uh, InDesign. Oh, wow. Uh, wow. It was dead expensive, but it was the only program. So, uh, and they basically, uh, I don't know what they did, they, they committed suicide commercially, because it stayed really expensive yeah. and then in design came and then they did a lot more affordable over. yeah because there was the creative suite from uh sonia and then they were gone yeah of course uh when was it with the reopening of the fashion scene they were like oh do you still have this poster i'm like okay <laughs> into the archives <laughs> and stuff on cd and but you can't open it anymore where do you put it in yeah. okay get a separate one okay and then you go back, way back into the ages. And then, and I used to have a quark, uh, old one. But then that said, like, I don't think so, but then you still find addresses. You can yeah. open your old stuff, but it's also you forget how, how to work with the program because you're already 15 years with another program. I'm like, oh my God. So uh, I hope they don't ask it too much. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, it took me two days to find that one poster. Wow. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. When you're working with um, fashion designers, mm. are there things that, because I can imagine, like, if you're working with people like Martin, Yodi, they might have very extravagant ideas that don't necessarily reflect to what's possible uh, on pages. <laughs> so what are your experiences with that? Well, we try to... Uh... Talk to them. <laughs> <laughs> like, are you sure? <laughs> you know, but also I have uh, worked for Gert Forians. He's an interior designer. Oh, yeah. You know, you, you know yeah. him probably. I made books for him. But uh, wait, I will <laughs> dig them up and show them to you. <laughs> it's these ones. I recognize them from afar. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> wait, I'll do it so that the whole thing collapses. <laughs> and, uh, you know, In the, the house? Uh, it's <laughs> my... House catches fire one day, it's gonna be like this till the moon and the take the seeds. Like this one, for example. Oh wow, did you also make the one with Jim Thompson with all the fabrics? Uh, you do know of the uh, it's like a day. Is it this one? It's a book you can... Because that's what it is auction, right? Wow, this is the auction wow. thing yes, I yes, did. This is so cool. Uh, this is a little bit of Jim Thompson, but it's also a sort... With all the different stuff that's in... Yeah, no, that did Marcel. Uh, 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 yeah. We did an interview with Bliss Thompson. He's like a YouTuber from the US. He did an interview with um, Gert. And uh, I know Gert, for, I've worked up for him. Oh, yeah. Like the, the social media. And yeah. Oh, yeah, that's He's such a nice man, and he's fine. Yeah, yeah, he's so totally cool. crazy. Yeah, he's uh, totally crazy. crazy. He knows what he's doing. But then, you know, we have this system, uh, like yeah. the, it's called Japanese binding, uh, because it's like... Hey, yeah. Uh, but also, it's like layer on layer on layer, and, and like, here, you know, a paper has two sides, not ten. Like, oh, and so like, he has Yeah, but then the... I find a way to make it ten. And we're like, oh. okay, let's see what we can do. Yeah, he's a guy with like a very specific vision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. You know, but he's also not afraid of color, so I love it already. Uh, no, it took a bit of uh, snitting each other out for one week. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, no, no, and then also he said that, okay, it's, this is what I want. Bye, see you. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I love. So, <clears throat> no, that's why we did like these overlayers of, of stuff. Yeah. So that you get the impression there's more to the eye. But uh, well, that was a couple of heavy months. Mm. <laughs> so, and also he does 10 of these, you know, not just wow. one or two. He's like, I want 10. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you'll get 10. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's amazing. That's honestly so interesting. 
And of course, you have to have a publisher who goes along with it. Huh? Otherwise, you're back yeah, to yeah, basics. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Otherwise, it's not yeah. doable. There are some like even financial things that determine it. For example, like when shipping costs, they're done by dimension and weight. And so the bigger by dimension your magazine is, your shipping cost is going to go way higher, even if it's the same weight. And that's why, like, a lot of publishers, if they think... Stick to small books. Yeah, they stick to small books because of the shipping. Yeah, but... No, this one is quite... Well, for the size, it's not so heavy. Yeah. This one is actually heavier. What the hell? Two kilos. <laughs> well, like, hmm. Forgot not to do that. <laughs> So, yeah. Uh, we actually have to go to Fasson Jackman, where we have the last interview at the Gangstra. Because uh, we have been going from Hot Not Hip the entire week. Um, when are you leaving? Uh, tonight, tomorrow. tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. But I've had so much fun. Honestly, I've met so many nice people yeah. and just really explored like the creative scene in Antwerp. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah. No, something's in the water, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> People say that there's something about Antwerp, that the creatives that come out of that. Yeah, but it's very difficult to pinpoint what it is exactly. I don't think we ever can, and that's maybe the beauty of it. Yeah, yeah I think that's uh, yeah. um, very good that we can't. Yeah. Otherwise, you would analyze it and it would lose its magic. Yeah. You yeah. never, but I never overthink anything, so. It's honestly so amazing. But that you can keep it. Okay? Really? Yeah, of course. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm going to study it because I think... Yeah, the book engine. As, um... If you have one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I... As someone that starts the magazine, I think... Um, obviously, yeah, the first I issue... I own monograph, and uh, the next one is coming in two years. <laughs> uh, no, this is also Belgian. Nobody will ever ask you... Oh, let's make a monograph about about your work. I was like, yeah. I'm gonna do my own. Monograph. <laughs> uh, I think a week before I went to the printer, I was like, who's gonna pay this? Yeah, that's how I work. Uh, and then I went on my knees through the whole country, <laughs> begging for money, please. And then two years later, the taxman and, and I got really like two thirds of like, wow, wow, whore. <laughs> and then uh, two years later, ta taxman said, no, it's sponsoring. Back in your bookkeeping, I was like, wow. <laughs> anyway, uh, this black spot shouldn't be there, but anyway. But this one is uh, 2003. Uh, so that's, uh, help me, 18 years old? What the hell? Wow. Um, <laughs> yes, I was a child prodigy. <laughs> <laughs> well, in my head. But the fact that you still have them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, my mother keeps everything, so... Uh, wow. Yeah, these are parts Texture of other of this, work. Yeah, and, yeah this is done. Yeah, it cost a fortune, the whole thing. I can imagine. Could have bought a small apartment at oh, the wow. seaside, I think. But instead, I made a book. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, these are parts from other work, but then they are in three different versions. Uh, wow. Uh, techniques. Uh, because I'm... Or I try to be... Uh, very tactile in my work, uh, which is a bit difficult on social media. No, <laughs> just touch screen. So, uh, no, and that was basically the the, the largest uh, business card ever. <laughs> Probably an expensive business card. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> so and now I'm gonna make another one because uh, when you call the first book volume one, I'm like, oh god! Oh wow! So 1991 to 1998. Mm -hmm. Inga, Grognard, Wolfgang Bern, Don Dries. Wow. You've done so much before. amazing work. Honestly, you should be really yeah. proud of what yeah. you've been able to achieve. People hate me. So <laughs> proud they hate me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I mean, I would be proud, definitely. I know I'm a very proud person. It's still humble. <laughs> it's possible for you both. Yeah, you can be proud of your work. Yeah, I think uh, I, was a bit, I was very arrogant in the in the nineties and stuff. I was like, "Well, I'm God's gift to Earth." But I must say, getting older, it just uh, it get more down to earth. Let's put it that that way. Uh, we have to run because we have the interview um, in. At the uh, Gamma Strauss, so we have to. Oh, yeah, yeah. okay. Bit, uh, yeah, so, 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 so. But I would say, uh, come again! Yeah.